Hey guys, in this video lecture, we will learn about Django admin or administration panel which comes from which comes with Django framework. So when we ran Django hyphen admin start project my site, Django created and configured the default admin site for us. An admin interface is an essential part of the infrastructure. This is a web based interface that enables editing and deletion of site content. And uh, if we look at the settings.py file in the installs app, we have the admin uh, app already present here. So we don't need to put it here manually. So to use Django administration, we need a login credentials. If we open up the browser, first of all, we have to run the server. Python manage.py run server and open up the browser and write localhost 8000 after that we uh, write admin followed by localhost 8000 it will redirect us to the admin panel but here we need to give the administration or the login credentials it will ask for so to use Django administration we need a login credentials and to login we need to create a super user account first that has control over everything on the site so open up the terminal and write python manage.py create super user cancel the running server write python manage.py create super user hit enter and it will prompt for the username so write username as Abhishek and email address is I'm giving the dummy one here for testing purpose and the password is password one two three password and one two three password and one two three and yes super users create super user created successfully if we return to the browser and log in with the super user credentials we chose and we should use the Django admin uh, we should see the Django admin dashboard and the password is what happened here is need to run the server again yes and write the credentials again and yes uh, now we can see our Django dashboard or admin dashboard here we have the authentication and authorizations uh, tab we have the groups and user class in the user class we have uh, we have the abhishek as a username and email address as abhishek at gmail.com and staff status is okay uh, that we have created in the super user if we open up the abhishek here uh, and see the uh, password is hash that is and it is uh, using the algorithm pbk df2 underscore sha 256 uh, if you want to know more about pbk df2 you can search the google here we can update our first name as uh, we didn't uh, use when we create when we were creating super user abhishek and the last name is verma we can uh, make groups and add it here and uh, user permissions we can choose but we have to save it first and it is now showing the first name and last name last name as well if you go back to the admin dashboard or first page uh, here we don't have our model listed to make it appear we need to register the post model in the admin.py file so open up the text editor atom text editor and open up the admin.py file And import the post model first from dot models that means the under inside the block directory we have the models or py file and import the post class and we need to register here which is admin dot site dot register as admin is already imported from the django dot country module and dot site dot register and name our post model here and we are good to go and we run the server again which is already refreshed 
and open the web browser and refresh the web browser we now can see our post model listed which is the blog application and the post is a model when open up the post model uh, we don't have any post yet we can add post from here and we can write title here which is like my new post one and yes it is asking for other fields as we have uh, haven't give that attributes blank is equals to true to slug and author and state status is by default choices and uh, let's uh, make slug by using the post title my new post one author we can choose abhishek here and the status will be drafted for now save it and this is our change list view we can be able to delete the selected post from here and go press go we can make another post my new post to my new post to and make the uh, author Abhishek and make it published here yeah. so our both the posts are ready and we have added our post model the main criteria of this video lecture is to add the post model so in the next video lecture we will la, uh, customize our admin panel and like search add the search fields and display changes in the change list view and make a filter sections in our post change list view so goodbye guys see you in the next